normally hundreds of dancers have made their way to Grand Rapids to display their talents at the annual Midwest Regional Alternative Dance Festival or RADFest. And while they won't make the trip, they still have been perfecting their talents and will do everything virtually this year. Join us with details. It's Rachel Miller, RADFest Chair. Good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, Leanne. Thanks for having me. It's our pleasure. So let's go ahead and tell everybody what is exactly is RADFest? Well, RADFest is a large dance festival that's held usually in person <laughs> in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, we're in our 12th year, and it's a festival where dancers come and perform, teach master classes, give artists talks, and network. And we have usually have dancers coming in from all over the world to perform and uh, teach. <laughs> and so this year, obviously, things will be different. Yes, things are much different this year. We went virtual, so <laughs> we will have virtual performances, uh, virtual master classes, uh, virtual artist talks. Um, we also actually have opportunities for networking for the audience, and we're actually excited uh, about going virtual because we have the opportunity to provide more interactive content for uh, our audience members, so they can network and actually talk to the artists, ask them questions um, and that sort of thing. So we're actually very excited about the possibilities that a virtual festival opens up for us. So I was, I, that's what I was gonna say, this actually is kind of like a half, a half empty, half full situation when it comes to people being able to take part in this. It absolutely is. Uh, in fact, I think yesterday I looked at the ticket sales and we already have ticket sales coming in from five different countries. <laughs> Normally, that wouldn't happen for our audience. Normally, our you know it would be mostly local, regional people from the state of Michigan, people from the state of Illinois coming in to see the performances. Now, of course, our artists are from all over the world. Yes. Um, so yeah, so it opens up all these possibilities for a wider audience. <laughs> and so many challenges right now for so many people perfecting their skills and talents. Of course, many of them, you know, practicing at home and all these confined spaces and stuff like that. So it's gonna be really interesting to see them actually be able to let loose just a little bit. As far as the performances and where these performances take place and how people tune in to watch, kind of give people an overview since this is so different than, from the way we normally do things. Yeah, well, the uh, virtual festival will be on the Hopin platform, which is a fairly new platform. Um, what's really nice about it is that there are different possibilities. There's a stage, a virtual stage, there's an expo center, there's networking, um, different places where you can network on it. So everything is in one place. Uh, and if you go to MidwestRadFest.org and you click on the, the purchase tickets, register for events link, uh, it will take you to that site so you can kind of see how it's set up. So obviously March 5th through the 7th, which is not far away. So people can still go ahead and hop on there and get those tickets. Can you can they get them up to the very last minute? They sure can. Yeah, they sure can. What do you want people to walk away with from this event? Well, this event in particular this year, um, really a lot of the dances are about confinement. They're about um, social justice they're about a lot of the things that we were going through in 2020 <laughs> mm -hmm. so it's almost a retrospective on 2020 but you'll also see a lot of humorous uh, lighter pieces to kind of provide an escape for folks um, and i think that's probably the most important thing right now um, with everything that you know our country is going through and and the world is going through right now so <laughs> it's nice to have that escape well, we look forward to welcoming everybody back in 2022. <laughs> so thank you so yeah. much for your time. For more details, go to MidwestRadFest.org. Again, that's March 5th through the 7th. You can get those tickets so you can take part virtually. Come